Today, I'm going to show you how you can repurpose your TikTok videos without a watermark straight through to your Facebook business page or to your Facebook group automatically every time you publish through to TikTok. Hi, I'm Brandon. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that all important notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video to this channel. What I'm going to show you today can be done through to multiple social media platforms. It's probably going to take about five or so minutes to actually set up. But once done, every time you publish a video to the TikTok platform, it will automatically publish through to your Facebook business page or to your group. There is, however, a limitation placed by Meta on third party apps publishing through to your personal profile on Facebook. If you want to know how to publish your TikTok videos without a watermark through to your reels on your personal profile or into your stories, then drop a Facebook profile in the comments below and I'll get a video to you on how to do that. Right, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is go and sign up for a 14-day free trial with Repurpose.io. I have a link in the description below. Once you're logged in, you need to head over to connections on the left-hand menu. We're going to need to go establish connections through to TikTok and to our Facebook accounts. So head over to add a new connection and head over to TikTok. That'll be the first one that we create. And this one we'll call Brandon TikTok Connect. If you've logged into TikTok on this particular browser, it'll populate with your details. You can go and edit the access, go and select authorize and success, that is done. And if you scroll down, you'll see there Brandon's TikTok has now been created. We now need to do the same for Facebook. Head over to Facebook, select that and we'll create a Brandon again. This will be through to your main Facebook or your personal profile account. And thereafter, we can then select the page or the group that we want to post to. Select connect, enter your password. Even if you logged in, this will still prompt you for a password. Connect and it'll tell you success. Right, those are the two connections that you need for this particular video. Next, we're going to go create our workflow. This is the actual task that is going to take your TikTok video, remove the watermark, and then upload it onto your Facebook page reels. So let's go to the right, select create a new workflow, give your workflow a name, go next, go select your source, it's going to come from TikTok and you're going to choose your source connection. I have two connections. I'm going to use pick my wife's. Uh, you're going to upload your video. You're going to select the full video because that's what we want to do. Next, we're going to select our destination. And this is going to go through to Lisa Facebook and you're going to go through to a Facebook page. Select your connection page name and I'm going to want to upload it to the real section. Uh, the other option that is available there, you can actually upload it to your feed, but we'll leave it at reels. And once that is completed, that workflow will have now been created. So let's go and have a look at that particular workflow. If you scroll down, you go and find it, which here it is TikTok to Facebook page. I can go view the content of this particular workflow. It'll list all the videos that I have in my TikTok account, in this case, my wife's account. The is a settings button at the top where you can configure certain things that will happen to this particular video every time it uploads it through to your Facebook page. So you can resize that particular video. This is really only helpful if your original video format is not in a vertical format, in which case you would want to convert it to a vertical to fit in with your Facebook Reels. Uh, you can also apply various templates. If you're looking for any templates to use, within repurpose.io. If you go and watch my video on repurpose.io, in there I have a number of templates that I give away for free as part of my bonus for just watching my video. Um, you can either add subtitles to your video or not. You can add an intro or an outro file to each of your videos. You can add a fade out effect. You can choose which content that you would like to auto publish. I would recommend that if you've got a lot of content already sitting in your, in this case, TikTok account, that you wouldn't select all accounts. You would only select on this date and newer, and you would then pick a date in the future at which to start and you just argument say select 30th there and then you can exclude certain videos with that contain specific hashtags or only import those with hashtags um, you can select to choose to remove the hashtags from your source and you could also add a custom text to your destination a call to action or add a 
different kinds of hashtags to your video if you so wanted to, to do so. So, and you can also get notified every time of a successful publish, go and select save, make the setting changes that you want. And now let's go and publish our first video. I'll do this manually for you to show you how it works. And then secondly, what I'm gonna do is I'll show you how to set this up automatically. So go and select publish. Um, repurpose will automatically pull through your captions that were entered into your TikTok video. Yeah, you can either change it or based upon the settings that we just had a look at previously, it will update that description with whatever you type in at that point. You can either select to um, add subtitles or upload a SRT file for that. And you can go and select a schedule or publish. I'm gonna select publish now. And here you can see that this particular video has now been queued and it's getting ready shortly to get processed. And you'll see there, now it's changed over to processing and the video is now successfully published. And now let's go and have a look at that reel on my Facebook page. Next, we head over to Facebook, head over to your Facebook page. In this case, it's Affiliate Success Lab. And if we scroll down, we should then find that particular reel. And here you can see, want to succeed with affiliate marketing, one of the blue writing. If we go back to repurpose, you can see there it is the, with the blue writing. And that reel has now been published through to our Facebook page. Now, when you, if you want to set this up so that it runs automatically, you just head up to the top here where it can change it from manual to auto, go and select that. And here you can select a couple of settings. You can choose which content that you would like to auto publish, only content published on this date and newer. Once again, if you've got content already sitting, Within your TikTok account, I would recommend doing that. And you can then go and select a date. And this picks it up from what I did earlier. The 30th, you pick whatever date you want and then just go and select confirm. And then from that date going forward, any content that you publish into TikTok will automatically be reformatted based upon the settings that you would have selected over at that point in time and then published into your Facebook page as a reel. So next what you could do is you could head back to workflows and go create additional workflows to take your TikTok videos and repurpose them through to the other social media platforms that are available within repurpose.io. So to the likes of LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, you can go and repurpose your TikTok videos to all of those platforms. And in less than five minutes, you have created your connections through to your social media platforms and republished your first video from TikTok through to your Facebook page. That is how quick and easy it is to set up this kind of repurposing of your content within repurpose.io. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that all important notification bell and drop a comment in the comments below. Let me know what value you got out of today's video. And till the next time, have a great day.